a good, a good lead-in, actually, because I'll, I'll return to you now, uh, Sandra. Uh, and you touched on this at the very start. Um, as part of the cybersecurity strategy, which is yet to be fully released, there was a teaser, if you like, around, around the cybersecurity uh, growth center. Um, and uh, you know, can you tell us a little bit more um, over and above what you, what you touched on briefly uh, in your opening remarks? Can you tell us a little bit more about what is the, uh, the ideas behind that and what the, what the government's thinking is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yes, it was certainly part as um, a result of the review consultation that we had done so far. So yes, a teaser and hopefully a good one at that. Um, and I guess this was uh, following on about that conversation that we've had with many people about the opportunities to be had in, in cyberspace and the recognition that there's some terrific companies here in Australia doing great things on the, on the global market. And I guess the, what we want to do is expand that opportunity for Australian business. What I think it's about an estimated a $71 billion um, growth sector, growing at about 8% per year in, um, globally around cyber security. You know, and there's an opportunity for us to be part of that and take advantage of that. And we see that this growth center will be a, a, a core element of that. But as I said as well, it's a place where we can bring together or opportunity to bring together the talent that we've got in the research community and the academic community and within business and bring that together to get, um, I guess, uh, a commercialization of sort of products that can, that can benefit us all. But one of the things we're concentrating on as well is it's not just cybersecurity industry, it's about business more broadly and how we can um, enable businesses to take advantage of cybersecurity to deliver their technologies um, in a secure way, and that will position them better in the global marketplace. So in terms of the growth center itself, it's actually built on the uh, model that uh, exists, that's been um, administered by the Department of Industry, Innovation and Science. So the one thing it does give us, it gives us a structure to be able to move and implement this fairly quickly. But there's also flexibility in the arrangement to uh, design and co-design, which is something that we've been talking about through the review, to co-design the growth centre so that it actually matches what the needs of, um, of the cyber security sector, the business sector more broadly and the research community are and can move fairly rapidly in an agile way to the marketplace. Um, so within that, that structure, there's kind of core elements around uh, collaboration and commercialization. There's some elements that talk to uh, management, workforce skills, um, regulatory reform, so opportunities to cut red tape, and also um, would be looking at uh, mechanisms to specifically provide that international market access and, and into global supply chains as well. So the focus really is on getting commercial practical outcomes from it. Um, the first step that we'll have in the process would be is the same with any of the other growth centre initiatives is um, the appointment of a chair and then they will develop up a proposal for what this actually might uh, look like in practical reality. But there'll be broad consultation on how that happens and how it's designed and what it looks like before that sort of goes to government and is a way forward. And we see a really flexible arrangement that allows people to move in and move out of the sort of growth centre opportunities as well from different parts of um, research and business, but also to take advantage of that because we've got some real strengths in different um, parts of Australia in the states and territories as well that we think we can take great advantage of. Yep. 